especially in India, to do something that you truly love because by the time you graduate from your college, you have loans and responsibilities and expectations from your family. It's, it becomes very hard to invest your life in doing something that you truly want. But then again, it's your life. You know, you have to find ways. Nobody likes to do hard things. Human beings, the human body, the human mind is designed to be comfortable, to be lazy. So human beings will find all sorts of reasons to not work hard. But then you have to give yourself realistic goals, force yourself to wake up in the morning, go to the gym. So these are some things which you can force yourself to do. Do something which your body and your mind does not want to do. See, discipline you cannot bring forcefully. I knew I had to wake up at 7 in the morning every day to go to school and my mother had to kick me to wake me up. <clears throat> and then after the school was over, I used to wake up at 3.30 in the morning if I had to go for a trek <laughs> without my mother waking me up. So it's not okay. that a human being lacks discipline. Everybody <laughs> has that quality in them. Right. The thing is, if you are doing something that means something to you, Anyways, you will <clears throat> find the energy, the motivation, the will, the discipline to do whatever actions are required. Mm -hmm. If you are doing something which you know somewhere, consciously or unconsciously, that it means nothing to me. It's not what I want to do. My calling lies somewhere else. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, I want to do a business, but because of some things I have to do a job because of whatever compulsions then your heart will not be in that job if you are married to somebody True. who your parents have forced you to be married to but if your heart is with your high school lover you will not be 100% with you know what you are committed to so I know it's a very hard thing if, if you look at it practically especially in India to do something that you truly love because by the time you graduate from your college you have loans and responsibilities and expectations from your family it's, it becomes very hard to invest your life in doing something that you truly want but then again it's your life you know you have to find ways <clears throat> I can't give a in general advice but discipline is something that you cannot work towards but you need to find something in your life for which you are willing to do whatever it takes and some habits of course to develop that mindset of discipline like nobody likes to do hard things human beings the human body the human mind is designed to be comfortable to be lazy so human beings will find all sorts of reasons to not work hard but then you have to give yourself realistic goals <clears throat> force yourself to wake up in the morning go to the gym eat right so these are some things which you can force yourself to do to break those patterns that you have in your mind right <clears throat> because this laziness this lack of actions is a pattern which comes from years of not doing something so to break that you need to start doing things which you are uncomfortable with like if you wake up at 8 in the morning start waking up at 5 30 in the morning <clears throat> and go do something which your body and your mind does not want to do maybe you will not be answerable to anybody but you are answerable to yourself I mean I don't understand this <clears throat> I, like, I genuinely don't understand this how come people don't have discipline I mean I can just blink my eyes and cure my brain if I want to do something I can blink my eye and tell myself that I have to do this and I'll get it done people are too focused on their feelings I don't feel like doing this I don't feel like eating healthy I feel like eating a burger if you feel your feelings are always here and there so if your feelings are the leader in your life then you will never be disciplined because discipline requires going against how you feel on certain days you don't feel like waking up and going to the gym but then you do it anyways because then you are not governed by feelings so the more focused you are on feelings especially today's young people are taught by everybody it's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel depressed. I'm saying yes, it is okay. But is it okay to act accordingly? No. You have a certain job, you have a certain task and you should do it regardless of how you feel. <clears throat> so the more you go against your patterns, the better you will become at being disciplined in many ways. <laughs>